The international community eagerly awaited Ghana's parliament's vote on the promotion of proper human sexual rights and family values bill. Ghana's partners and international organizations have condemned the latest decision to be a state-sponsored discrimination and violence against sexual minorities. Spokeswoman for the Office of the United Nations High Commissioner, Ravina Shamdasani, in a statement said, the bill broadens the scope of criminal sanctions against lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender and queer people simply for being who they are and threatens criminal penalties against those perceived as their allies. The U.S. State Department spokesman Matthew Miller on Wednesday said the U.S. was deeply troubled by the bill, saying it threatens Guinean's freedom of speech and is urging for its constitutionality to be reviewed. The U.S. State Department also reiterated the undermining impact the bill will have across the country's public health, media and civic spaces and the economy. The UNAIDS, in a statement released in Geneva on Wednesday, fears if the bill becomes law, it will obstruct access to life-saving service, undercut social protection and jeopardize Ghana's fight against HIV and AIDS. According to the UNAIDS, punitive laws like this are a barrier to ending AIDS and ultimately undermine everyone's health. In a letter to Ghana's mission to the UN in Geneva, experts who include the UN's independent expert on sexual orientation and gender identity, Victor Madrigal Bolos, said the bill violated Ghana's international human rights agreements. They add that the bill seems to establish a system of state-sponsored discrimination and violence against LGBTI persons of great magnitude. The bill, sponsored by private members and introduced to Parliament in 2021, has unanimously been passed and awaits the assent of the President.